new episode, one hour. Let's make the most of it. Let's get it. Yes. So is this one going to have an obnoxious tutorial, or are we going to get right into it? I hope we get right into it. Please? Please, can we get right into it? No long-ass tutorial? This great city has been witness to many strange scenes, but none so staggering as the one that played out here uh -huh, beneath uh -huh, uh -huh. her slumbering streets just seconds ago. An evil space ape bent on world destruction, thwarted by a six-foot-tall dog and a rabbity thing with psychic power. A ghost. A tidy conclusion to an improbable story, or so it would seem. For about five nanoseconds, until our heroes turn and see something so unexplainable, so horrifying, as to render evil space apes suddenly quaint. My skeletal toys. Hey, are we going right into it? We going into it? I tried to change my emotion and the game froze. How we going into could it? you, Sam? There you stand, a sickening grin on your face, your great hairy mitts clutched around my dear little silky white neck. Mother warned me it would come to this, but I couldn't bring myself to believe her. I could be wrong, Max, but I've got a hunch this isn't us. Okay. These horrifying skeletons are meant to convey a message of some sort. There's a story behind this grisly tableau. Aha, a note. What's Hello. it say? There's a story behind this grisly tableau. Look, a highly flammable reel of nitrate-coated film from the dawn of the age of cinema. I'll just pop it into this conveniently placed projector. No okay. fair, Sam. You got to pick the movie last time. Shut up and enjoy the show, Max. I hope we're not going to get any weird glitches. It stuttered earlier, and now I'm afraid. My toy movie. Hello. Woo! Egyptian-y. Guess we're going to Egypt. My toy box. Hey, that looks just like... Thundering tin types of Teddy Roosevelt in a three-wheeled baby carriage with a bonus jar of mustache well, wax. Even the That's video no has other than my great-grandpa Samoth with your great-grandpa Maximus. I can't hear what they're my saying. Textures. It's a silent movie, little buddy. Filmed before the invention of vocal cords. Can't find the volume knob, huh? Let me... No, get away. I want to mess with it. Huh? Something's happening, Sam. My aura is going all squirrely. Are we going to the past? I feel it too, Max. Some irresistible force is pulling me through the frame of that movie. We're going to the past? Oh. Not for long. Kringle. I want that toy box. Are we in the past? Or are we in a movie? This is one of those situations where it would be helpful to have a gun. Or psychic powers. Psychic powers, that's right. We keep forgetting you've got unexplainable psychic powers. Oh, yeah. Hey, Max is so cute. Where I like Sam his outfit. Hill are you hiding? I like that outfit. Okay. Where um, are you hiding? Blast you. My toys. Uh. Uh. Good old my toys. Charlie Hotep. Thanks to him, I am gifted with the miraculous ability to throw my voice into people and objects. Yeah, I'm still not sure ventriloquism counts as a psychic power. Uh... My toys. Ha! That sap Kringle will never find us in here! Ha! There you are! Watch out for falling squids! Let's take this toy box and skedaddle. I'm so smart, I just guessed. Hey, we're off to a great Champion start. Champion ventriloquizing, Maximus. Now all we've got to do is read those hieroglyphics again and the door will open and we'll be golden! Okay. Right. Uh, you don't remember how to read hieroglyphics, do you, Maximus? <laughs> Fat chance! But you do, right, Sam? Don't step on the snake or you'll get the bird? This is rich! Ho oh. ho ho ho! <laughs> Fucking guys. Huh. That was interesting. A little skimpy on character development. 
That can't be the whole story. There must be... Yes! Uh... So what, are we gonna, like, solve a bunch of these oh, little scenarios? Great. Did we just, like, watch the end of the movie first? No, I think that was the middle. Which one's the beginning? Not a clue. Which one do you want to try? Um... Okay, the standoff. Let's go backwards. So, oh. One, four, three. Well, if this one's four and this one's three, I mean, let's just fuck it. Um. Actually, no, fuck it. Let's do the big reward. Uh huh. My toy's the movie. And here they are, ladies and gentlemen, fresh oh? from the triumphant tour of Lower That's Middle Egypt. Anymore. The scourge of the mole people, treasure finders extraordinaire. Please welcome Samoth and Maximus. Oh, I guess we did get hey, out of there just fine. We didn't mean to interrupt the show. Here's that toy box you wanted. Um, we'll be on our way. Just as soon as you cough up our prize. Of course, of course. But before I hand out the big reward, perhaps I can coax our intrepid adventurers into telling us a bit about their grand adventure? Not much to it, really. We came, we saw, we conquered. Hand over the loot! <laughs> so modest. No, I'm afraid my audience wants all the gory details. Don't you, friends? What's she doing? So tell me, Samoth and Maximus. To begin with, how was it you were able to pass through the mouth of the Sphinx? Our ineffable charm. Darn. Strange, I have no memory of how we did that. Well, okay. They're dying up there. I don't think we're ready for this part yet. Let's go back to an earlier reel. I guess we just go straight to one. I have a feeling this episode's gonna be a little obnoxious. Maybe. Maybe I'm being too harsh too soon. Just a hunch. Maybe. Hello. That was the... Okay, that was the one of, uh... Okay. That was an... Awkward start to an episode. Ah well. I can't shoot anything. I can't shoot nothing. My toys. I wonder when we'll get to mess with the fucking copy ability shit again. Kinda wanna fuck with that again already. My toys. Guns or toys? Remember this. Hello. Hello. I wonder, are we gonna play the entirety in the past? Did the usher see us? Nah, he's still fishing for us under the candy counter. Shh, okay. show's about to start. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, devotees of the uncanny and the bizarre. God, Max's outfit is so Allow cute, I want to see him again. Myself. My name is Monsieur Pepperweight, and I bear great tidings. I love your little outfit, Max. An discovery of earth-shattering proportions. My friends, I, love Max I present so to you the Sphinx. Hello. Ugh, it's horrible, Samoth. The face of pure evil. The stage is that way, schmucko. It is said she will yield her secrets only to one whose powers are equal to those of Samun Mak himself. Might you be that favored individual? I have come to your fair city My today own. to issue a challenge. 
What you see before you is not My merely man. a pasteboard facsimile, but a perfect recreation of the tomb's outdoor fortification. Hello, El. To the one who makes it through the gate, I offer two tickets to Egypt and a chance for the adventure of a lifetime. You get any of that, Sammet? Prize for the guys who can bust through that thing. Busting things is our speciality. You read my mind, little buddy. Why am I using him? What's this? Want to skip ahead to the good part? No, 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 no. Not yet. Hello. The mermaid and the cockroach. Fresh from their tour of the great sewers of Europe. Shouldn't we be on our way to sunny Egypt by now? I'm feeling prematurely homesick. I can just leave. Let's go. Where to? Good question. Hi, mole woman. Look, Samoth, a quaintly dressed mole person reading a hieroglyphic newspaper. One of the colorful, unwashed immigrants, little pal. The city's teeming with huddled masses of them. <laughs> Comical strip, very funny. Oh, I like you already. Can we talk with you more? Ma'am, I want to talk with you more. <laughs> Comical strip, very funny. I like you, ma'am. You're cool. Uh, extra projection don't matter yet, so let's stay here. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Hello. Excuse me, mister. No, no more toilet breaks till the job's done right. Understand? Okay. We, um, uh, we're not your underlings. Huh? I got no statements for the press. Beard of snowy white, nose like a cherry. Haven't we met somewhere before? Fat chance! I don't make a habit of frequenting the greasy dives in this low-rent neighborhood. But no doubt you have seen my mug splashed across the front page of your morning paper. Nicholas St. Kringle, the spearhead bobbles for Bratz Charity Drive. Oh. Nicholas St. Kringle, named Philanthropist of the Millennium. Milk. Nicholas St. Kringle, photographed in Love Nest with team of Swedish figure skaters. <laughs> Milk. Note with curiosity that your assistants are... Short. I'm in the middle of transitioning to an elf-based labor force. Uh, trying to help out, you know. <laughs> Give a disadvantaged ethnic group a leg up in the new world. Oh, okay. Pretty generous. Hell, who am I fooling? They're cheap as dirt. Oh, okay. Toss them a few chestnuts and a figgy pudding and they'll crawl a mile on broken glass. My <laughs> How's the elf labor force working out for you so far? There's an old saying amongst us capitalists, you get what you pay for. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. I understand everything. Can I have a cookie? How about a cookie, Kringle? Go away! Oh. It's just my that pal is. here hasn't eaten in 72 hours. And you had such a kindly face. Oh, for the love of... You're okay. But just one, Savvy. My cookies. Yay! How about a cookie, Kringle? Go away! No more cookies. I don't get it. What's an important looking guy like you doing in a two bit amusement palace like this? What's to get? This paperweight character says he's made some kind of big discovery of a toy related nature. I make it my business to keep up with all new developments on the toy front, okay? My toys. Why aren't you up there attempting the challenge of the Sphinx? My underlings are handling that for me. I see. Scared to try it yourself, huh? Scared? Nicholas St. Kringle is scared of nothing. Foot, snake, shake, shake, bird. Oh, you fell down. <laughs> yeah, let me help you up. Keep your pincers off me, you drooling little cretin! If you had the teaspoon of brains necessary to do your job, I wouldn't be down here! Well... You know, lady, you understand? I can't even believe 
Okay, what do we got here? Inventory list, profits, losses, naughty, nice. Hmm, employee addresses. Looks like Kringle's employees all live in that elf ghetto. You mean Little Arctic Circle? Have you seen this baby? Sure. She's right there on that milk carton. Have you seen this baby? Okay. Looks like Kringle's employee. You mean... Okay. I don't think there's anything else I could do with that shit. I don't think there's anything else I could do with his shit over there, so I might as well just leave it alone. Game's get the same run all the rest of them do. Oh, I didn't take the cookies! Could I have taken the cook- wait. Oh, I have a lot of cookies, okay. Uh, I don't need to that. Uh, ah, here come a couple of hearty specimens. Gentlemen of the boulevards, no doubt. Not right did now. he just call us what I think he did? Honest mistake. Play along, Maximus. What's up? Come on, beat it, mister! Damn, yeah, you're talking to you! Lovable little sprites, aren't they? I wanna hug them till their wee rib cages buckle. That's the spirit. My nuts. Woo! What in God's name are you doing with that can of nuts? My nuts. Goodbye. I died. Well, that was a disconcerting twist on an old joke. The power came from me, Samet. My body's all tingly. I've never felt anything like it. You may notice a lot of bodily changes over the next few years, little buddy. It's all part of- I do it again! Hey! Damn, everyone's involved and in where this. Where did they run off to? That's just a fake one at that point. Think this substitute can of nuts will work the same as the original? I have my doubts, Maximus. <laughs> the magic of the ancients. It's a surefire laugh getter, anyway. Yeah, but it didn't make me all tingly like the one the elf swiped. We've got to get that can back, Samoth. I'm not going in that way. Not even for a free trip to Egypt. You think they're really flesh-eating ants, Samoth? Only one way to find out. You first. Well, fun. I like the birdie. Me too, Busty. Well, time to get kicked on our ass. nostrils are shut. Oh, okay. Uh, hello. Your textures Give are messed world, up. My oh, friend. no, your textures look fine. The challenge of the Sphinx is open to all, regardless of age, prowess, or physical deformity. Who's the codger with the ugly kids? Is he bothering you? You want we should pants him? That's sure. Nicholas St. Kringle, the well-known toy tycoon. He's offered me a fortune to direct him to the tomb of Samun Mak, but his money is of no interest to me. Okay. What's toy money? Talent! That is what I am searching for. Why go to all the trouble of rigging up a challenge of the Sphinx? If you're the big expert, why don't you just go through the mouth yourself? I don't know. Knowledge alone is not sufficient to overcome the Sphinx's defenses, alas. The seeker must be special. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Spell the secret, buddy. How do we make it through this challenge of the Sphinx? I can talk you through the sequence of steps, but you must pass through the mouth of the Sphinx by your own power. To begin, simply step on to the beseeching mat. Beseeching mat? Her tongue. Hmm, okay. In other words, you don't have a clue how this thing works. Of course I know how it works. I built it. But despite all my arcane knowledge, only one granted the gift has the power to pass through. Remind me, what do we win if we beat this game? An all-expenses-paid trip to sunny Egypt. Wow. Egypt. Now, is that with the alligators or the crocodiles? Your ignorance of giant carnivorous reptiles is embarrassing me, Maximus. Listen, monsieur. I hate to break it to you, but one of Kringle's height-challenged minions just made off with your can of nuts. Ridiculous. It's right there. 
That cam's a fake. It doesn't do the magic thing like it's supposed to. If that is not magic, what is? Oh, okay. Thanks, your impresario ship. Give the challenge of the Sphinx a try, boys. What have you got to lose? Okay, boss. The Sphinx has awakened. You are indeed a seeker of substance. We like to say he's pleasantly plump. Place your offering in the divine nostrils. May the divine odor of chocolate chips prove pleasing to thy nasal cavities. We're gonna fail it, but we might as well for fun. Very good. You have passed the first threshold. Now, recite the words of the inscription. Let's embarrass ourselves. Spunks, old pal. You remember us, don't you? Sure he does. He couldn't forget these faces. God, Matt, he's so adorable. Buddy. Boy, it's been ages. <coughs> oh, boy. oh, it started. <laughs> My hieroglyphics are a little rusty. Alright, let's go get our cannon nuts back. Oh, hey, we can take this. Ooh, funny papers. Yeah, but they're all in hieroglyphics. Might as well leave. Where are we going, Samet? Little Arctic Circle. Woo! Woo! Yay! Please tell me. Yay, it looks like exactly what I thought it would look like. Filthy elves! You pollute the sacred relics of the mole people! Oh, lay off! Go on, burrow back where you came from! Yeah! Go chew on an earthworm, you friggin' undergrounder! Ha! I curse you! Ooh, Damn. I'm quaking in me little elven booties! Why can't we all get along, Samoth? Because Poor most of us are... Little buddy? Hello. Oh, I can't. I wanna go back to the theater. Can I do anything from here? X! Got change for a dime? What do I look like, Rockefeller? Okay. Uh... Lost Baby. We've got hey, to see hey. that show, Samoth. They've got posters up everywhere. Uh... No toys yet. Hey! I'm mildly disturbed to see you torturing this elf. Yeah, elf torturing should be left to us professionals. Ah, uh, Icebox don't mind. He likes it, don't you, Icebox? Icebox is very cooperative. It don't hurt till he's full up on Jolly Juice. Okay. How you doing in there, Icebox? What's the matter? You get off at the wrong stop or something? Swells like you generally steer clear of Little Arctic Circle. We're slumming. We're here to gape at the depressing squalor of your miserable ghetto and congratulate ourselves on our comparative good breeding. Oh, knock yourselves out. Hey. We all get along. What in God's name are you doing with that can of nuts? Moiken, what does it look like? Special job for Mr. K himself. We's in the toy and novelty racket, see? We swiped, uh, that is, we managed to acquire this nifty little gizmo here. Sports a couple of interesting features. We cracked the code and Boss Kringle makes a fortune selling it over the holidays. Which means big bonuses for the likes of us. Wow. You'll never manage to reverse engineer that can of nuts. It only works in the presence of Max's ineffable aura. Right. I hate to say it, but you guys' auras are just plain effable. Everyone's uh, talking about You chumps got no more claim on this can than we do. Only we got it, and we're keeping it, see? We'll see about that, you bonsai bandits. No, Maximus. I think we should go. Huh? They're only going to kill themselves trying to figure it out. Meanwhile, we've got the toy idea that's going to set the industry on its ear. See you in the funny papers, suckers. Wait a minute. The boss will pay big if we bring him a great new concept. And Can it's true, we ain't yet? getting nowhere with this can of nuts. Tell you what, Polly. We might be willing to work out a trade. 
give us your toy idea. If it's really a winner like you say, we'll let you have the can. No fuss. Kids, you should drink My Little Pony Keg with braidable wow. hoses. Hmm, kids love beer. So yeah, true. Yeah, but Mr. K don't. Oh. My first sausage stuffer. A fun way to dispose of leftover lunch meat, household vermin, and scabs. Ah, oh, please, you're making me heave here. Point and click adventure games. You gotta be kidding. Tragic. I like how that one's still available. It's a board game. A top hat, an iron, and a little dog go around building hotels, and you're all trying to make each other go bankrupt. Interesting idea, but I don't think it'll fly. The kids ain't into capitalism nowadays. Tragic. It really wants me to remember an adventure game. It's an inflatable dartboard. Uh -uh. Tried that last year. It was a bust. But a pssst. It really wants me to do adventure game again. It's a coiled up spring you push downstairs. Hey, I like pushing things downstairs. Nah, dumb idea. As a matter of fact... You got nothing. We got something all right, but we're holding out on you. Gotta clear it with the boss first. You do that. Come back when you're ready to talk toys. And if your idea's as hot as you say, we'll kick the can over to you. Kick the can. <laughs> Good one, Slushy. Shut up. Those round-headed rats, they can't do this to me. I, I mean him. Ah, that can of nuts belongs to Maximus by right of psychic possession. I know, but unless our great-grandpas can dig up a great toy idea, I'm afraid they're out of luck. I just keep talking, Twist I don't want close for the day, gentlemen. To use, anyhow. Who's the dame you were fighting with when we walked in? Crazy old bat. Some kind Damn. of bull story about how the moles is the eternal guardians of the tomb of some joik. Sammy Mac. Yeah, and get this. Our can of nuts is really some kind of mumbo jumbo voodoo drum in her creepy religion. And when I don't hand it over to her, she zaps me with the full on gypsy coist routine. Tough break. Ah, oh, banana oil. That stuff might kill him in Moldavia or wherever, uh, but it don't play damn. in the US of A. These elves racist as shit. So, the curse doesn't worry you at all? Nah, us elves don't believe in that magical junk. We represent Toymaker's Local 614. Stand up and be counted! No contract, no work! Pipe down! We don't need that kind of trouble. We got a cushy setup here. Five hours off every other month. Oh, and we just last week talked the boss into taking the steel tip off the whip. Don't wow. mouse it up for us. Bye -bye. Stay sprightly. Hello. Genuine snowballs, hand carved by emigrant elves. Hello. Hieroglyphic funnies. I'd be splitting my sides if I could read ancient Egyptian. Uh huh. Genuine snowball. Okay, we can't use them. Um. Oh. Hello. Excuse me, buddy. I wonder if you could direct me to. Wait a minute. This isn't a real man. It's one of those snowmen they make to fool visitors to Little Arctic Circle. Happens. What's that? Have you got a quarter for the hitching post? The horse got towed, Sammoth. Remember? Darn. Room for rent. You'd have to be pretty desperate to take a room around here. I guess I just go inside. Fuck it. Um. Wow. Max is so cute. Max is so cute. Hello. Yeah, Maybe fun? we came at a bad time. Hello. What's this? Do not touch. It's visual component of powerful curse I am throwing on Elf out the window. He think he can make on me smart guy wise crack. Ha! We see how smart he feel after he become a wombire. An umpire? 
No, no. With the uh, sucking of blood and the sleeping in coffins. Ah, oh, vampire. Oh, a vampire. Hello. Hand pump. Look, I don't know Sammet, what Max is doing. She's got one of those newfangled hand pumps. Uh huh. Um, I don't know what you wanted me to select there. My books. They're all in Molish. Okay, I guess I just talked to her at that point. Excuse me, sir or madam. I can see you're busy muttering to yourself, but... Why you break my concentration on curse? You in cahoots with disgusting elves, no? No. no. Wait! Mishka Lisa Duja Fizzle Einzefeld. It is you, not boy. Sameth, she just called me nut boy. Nut boy. The one with great power of body to squeeze himself down to kind of nut yah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's me, nut boy. Nut boy. Nut boy. Oh, rotten, stinking, disgusting elves. So long I am searching after sacred cannon nuts stolen from tomb of Samunmak. To find it in the theater, to see it making with glorious magic nut boy squished down with fat doggy friend. Huh? That's and fun. then to lose it to grubby little sacrilegious maggot elves. Oh, for the strength of ten moles to crush them to paste. We'll help you out, mole lady. Crushing elves to paste. Sounds fun. And invigorating. You, not a boy and fat doggy friend. You will come to aid of pity, yes. old mole woman. You will take cannon not back from nasty elves yes. and bring it to mole woman. Yes, sure. The first part, anyway. And perhaps there is something mole woman can do for you. Uh. Oh! We can't get through this gate till we read the inscription. It wouldn't be so hard, only they went and wrote it in some crazy picture language. Remind me what the symbols are, and I will tell you how the inscription reads. I remember it. Well, as I recall, there was a foot, a yeah. snake, then two squiggles, and a bird. A foot, a snake, two squiggles, and a bird. How would you Small say woman. that in ancient Egyptian? Foot, Ooh. snake, squiggle, squiggle, bird. Works for me. Gee, hieroglyphics are easy. I didn't realize this was going to be one of those educational movies. Keep watching. That was a great moment to pull out. Can you tell us how to say those hieroglyphics again? A foot, a snake, two squiggles, and a bird? A foot, a snake, two squiggles, and a bird. How would you say that in ancient Egyptian? Foot, snake, squiggle, squiggle, bird. Works for me. God, that's a little rule. Hieroglyphics are. We're in need of a hearty chuckle. Can you read us something from your hieroglyphic funny pages? Let me see. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> Mole mates creating much merriment up and down the Nile. In first pan, husband Mole say to wife, You very angry with me, no? You can see it's true because wife Mole have scorpions crawling from the eyes. Ah. In second panel, husband say, It's because you caught me. Oh, how you say it as oh, it's making the monkey dance with the beautiful temple Mole maiden who have ah. the sensuous quivering nostrils. And in the third panel, husband is falling over backwards from great astonishment when the wife saying to him, No, it's because you cut the cucumber lengthwise. <laughs> ah. That's great. Oh, you get it? Because oh, who cuts a cucumber lengthwise? <laughs> it's crazy, no? I mean, can you imagine what kind of crazy nut would... Americans have no sense of humor. That was great. Give us another one. I'm sure the famous mole humor will come through to us if you read another strip. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Everybody loves Fred Jackal. Fred Jackal is always up to amusing hijinks. Oh, Tell me about oh, it. Oh, here, Fred Jackal hiding under the bed. His master said to him, Come out, Fred Jackal. I am not angry for you for making in center of living room carpet a steaming pile of dung with many flies buzzing around from the stink. <laughs> and now, in little bubble of thought, Fred Jackal is saying, He does not know. I cut the cucumber lengthwise. A uh, cucumber cut lengthwise is funny. Is very funny. Never will I understand this country. Tragic. So she says to him, I can't believe you cut the cucumber lengthwise. Uh, timing is off. Understandable. This vampire, er, vampire curse, how does it work? Is it instantaneous? No, my magic only sets process in motion. Cursed elf think himself safe now, but wait till he run into a vampire. Ha! Nothing can save him then. I guess you curse a lot of guys. Eh, not so many. I cursed an interloper back at the tomb once, but that was 50 years ago. Time flies. You said something about the tomb of Samun Mac. Oh, how I miss it. The happy pitter patter of little scarabs, the smiling faces of the sarcophagi. Guarding the tomb has been our family business for many generations. A bug. Why did you leave the old country? Oh, tomb guarding business, not what it used to be. Aww. Nowadays, no decent tomb raiders to impale. Damn. So, family sent me here. I make it big in America, I send for them. Understandable. Well, keep on cursing. Okie dokie. Well. Hey, Slushy! <laughs> Look! It's Joe Toy Store's clothes for the to use! We've got a toy. Lay it up! Alright. That's him. You gotta. Alright. So all we can do is just... Oh, he sounds cute. Ah, oh, see? Straight and narrow. I guess we can just solve this part. Who can penetrate oh, God. the gate of the Sphinx? Hey, didn't he steal this shtick from Miss Lizzie and her boisterous barmaids? I don't think so. This act doesn't have it. If at first you don't place your offering in the div... Yeah, yeah, yeah. May the divine... Very yeah. good. Now, recite. Foot, snake, squiggle, squiggle, bird. Just that easy. Well done, my friends. Now, there's only one barrier between yourselves and ultimate victory. I'm gonna guess we're gonna need the nuts. You chattering little ice monkey! If those two chuckleheads beat us to the prize! Don't worry about it, boss. Oh, so they got lucky on the password. Luck ain't gonna get them through that gate. Aim budget. We have to see the losing process again? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we need to get the fucking toy thing. I don't think we could do anything else here. I'm gonna guess we gotta go to a different fucking time. Wanna skip ahead to the All good right. part? Standoff's not gonna work. Big reward we can't do yet. Let's go to Train of Egypt. 38 minutes in. I'm good. I got time. I'm cool. I'm awesome. I love old timey. Hooray. I'm on the train. I guess we'll remember things here. Well, little buddy, here we are. Bound for adventure on the Disorient Express. Wow. Egypt, land of ancient tombs and odd looking humanoid figures with animal heads. I'm scared, Samoth. What if we don't fit in? We've got to. Mr. Paperweight has charged us with an important mission, and we can't let him down. I hope it involves asps. I love asps. You love the word asps. Tickets, please. Please get out your tickets. Now remember, 
Don't breathe a word about our mission. We can't let a soul know we're headed to the tomb of Salmon Muck to bring back the devil's toy box. Cascading Cupid dolls and the four color funny pages smeared with spaghetti. Name's Earhart. Baby Amelia Earhart. Not again. Famous kid. Perhaps you've seen my milk carton? Oh, I God. have. I have. I'm a spirited little tyke. Lit off from the nursery one day and never looked back. I'm out for adventure. Why do you have to be a and baby I again? you might be needing a cute little sidekick. I've already got a cute little sidekick. Yeah, we don't need to see it, Samith. Not now. Tickets. Produce your tickets. Tickets. I'll take those. I don't think I've been so. Doing. Shit. Open up and show your tickets. Everyone, be quiet. And invisible. I hope you have a plan. Open this trunk. Open it this instant, do you hear me? You can't you get fit rid of there. me. This easily, I know my right. She now, won't oh, shut up, Santa. I know what to do. You know, I'm great with kids. On that sort of thing. I hear voices in there. What's going on? Now listen, boys, be reasonable. I know all about Egypt. I've made a thorough study. I've got a book. Did I mention there's a tarantula in the chest? I won't help you if you stay perfectly still. And let's face it, you could do with a bit of Guess Guess who's out here with me? Santa Claus. Oh, oh, oh! I hate loud mouth kids. As a matter of fact, I have no idea how to quiet a kid. I'm coming in. I hope I'm not intruding, gents. Not at all. Here to join in a game of gin, Rami. I can tell you don't have a Let bottle. Let me out! Stowing a board without tickets and transporting contraband kiddies as well? What kind of train you think this is? Ouch! I guess that's a fail state? Equipment malfunction? More like a mental equipment malfunction. Should we try another reel? I mean, I guess we can progress here. So tell me, Samoth and Maximus, to begin with, how was it you were able to pass through the mouth of the Sphinx? Uh, we just taste that good. Uh, I, can't I don't think cool. we're ready for this part yet. Let's go back to an earlier reel. I mean, what happens if we do this one? Quick, Samoth! Read the inscription! Um... Don't you remember your hieroglyphics? Well, we know this one. Foot, snake, squeakle, squeakle, bird. You remembered! That's the way it is with foreign languages, little buddy. It's easy to get out of practice, but once you... Yipe! Okay, we go in. Daughter and bullets and foiled again! They're getting away! Well, little buddy, here we are. Fresh from a successful tomb raiding expedition in Lower Middle Egypt. Back on board the Disorient Express, bound for New York City. I'm gonna deal with the baby Remind again. me, Samoth, how did we manage to undo that security spell and swipe the Devil's Toy Box from the family of Guardian Moles? I don't Beats know. the hell out of me. Who can remember? The important thing is, the Toy Box is safe and sound right here in our... Holy Hercule Poirot in a blood-soaked bathtub with a full set of dental records and a mud-caked work God. boot with two missing treads. We've been robbed. It must have happened while we were stacking up on ketchup packets in the snack car. Which means the culprit is on this train. Somebody stole the devil's toy box from this steamer trunk. Who, Samoth? Who? That's what we've got to find out. I guess the baby. No devil's toy box in there. Uh... From the looks of things, I'd say we're passing the Denmark Strait. Okay. No toy box under there. Hello. Maybe the toy box is stashed behind all this luggage. Possibly. Let's start unloading. Nope, not there. Hello.
No toy box in there. Just some creepy dead guy. I'm not leaving till the background stops moving. Okay. Was this a cutscene? No. Hello, boss. We was only... It ain't him. Just had too much from New York. Yeah? Pringle wants to see you. What can I do? I can't leave now. None of us can go nowhere till our secret project is complete. I'm obviously supposed to ask you about this secret project. I ain't authorized to talk about it. You'll have to talk to the project manager. Hey, Slushy! What's up, dog? Um, you okay, Slushy? That's your vampire Looking kind of pale, dude. Yeah, so they tell me. I guess I got bit by something or other. No pain, though. Matter of fact, I never felt better. Seriously, I hate to break it to you, but I think you're a vampire. Ah, Guan, you don't buy that hooey any more than I do. I could go for a nice blood sausage, though. Slushy the Vampire Elf. Soon to be a beloved holiday special. Quit kidding around. Pringle wants to see you. Ah, jeez, he does. Cover for me, fellas. I can't leave this compartment till the secret project's finished. What's this secret project everybody's talking about? It's a new toy. Oh boy, what a toy. Toys. This baby will have old man Kringle toying and backflips once we spring it on him. Uh, just putting the finishing touches on it now. Can you give us a sneak peek? Uh -uh. We ain't letting the cat out of the bag. Not yet. Gotta get it kid tested first to make absolutely certain we got a winner. Wait right there. I've got the perfect kid for you. Yeah? That's fantastic, pal. Send him over. All right, so we gotta find the baby. Hey, baby Amelia Earhart, I... She's napping. <sighs> so you're the type that would barge in on a girl and interrupt her nap time, eh? Can't I say I'm surprised. So what can I do for your fellows? You nap to right of the Valkyries? Always have. Puts me out like a light. Shows you how different people are. I always fall asleep to the tears of a clown. Poor old Chuckles. I think his shackles are too tight. I can't wait forever, buddy. Damn. Bye-bye, baby. Yeah. Let me talk to... Dog. Wait, right. Yeah. Hurry up. What is this shit? Hello. You again, eh? Come on in. I was just working on my memoirs. What? Okay. Say, baby Amelia Earhart. Uh huh. I need you to tell. Okay, I can't. I can't see. There's something on the screen. We've got a big surprise for you, baby Amelia Earhart. You have been chosen to participate in a work of research project. Uh-huh. What's the catch? No catch. Just go next door with that nice vampire elf. Where he'll give you a brand new toy to play with. Not interested. Far too busy. What do I look like to you fellows? A child? Come on, baby Amelia Earhart. Be a sport. All you have to do is go play with a toy for a few minutes. You go play with it. I've got more important things to do. Somebody went and stole our toy box. You mean the toy box you stole from the tomb of Salmon Mock? Where's the decency? Well, search me, boys. I'm clean. Can you get the damn thing off the center of the screen? Got your own compartment now, eh? Going legit? I can afford to, thanks to our old friend Salmon Mock. Gold-plated scarabs are fetching a nice price on the commodities market these days. Flight of the Valkyries. That's an unusual kind of lullaby. I'm an unusual kind of kid. You're a good girl. Woman. Good woman. I can't wait forever, buddy. Bye bye, right, baby. Can I get this thing off my screen? Let's see. Oh! Hey, I did it. 
Okay. Um. Maybe the toy box is stashed behind all this luggage. Possibly. Let's start unloading. Another one. Nope, not there. What about those things? Okay, I guess they don't matter. I'm not leaving till the background stops moving. All right, all right. What's this? Nice caboose. Okay. Room service tray. Christmas Eve. Hello. Sounds like Kringle. What do you want? I'm busy in here. All in his pug. Open up. This is the police. The trained police? No, the untrained police. Go away. All right, so we gotta fuck with this drink. I understand. Hello, cutscene. You! You're the middle European jerk who got Maximus and me stuck on the wall back in the tomb of Samun Mac. Please, this is ancient history. Let go. Move on. Kind of like his other version. Hello, Mo. Well, we can just go in here, man. Nobody home. Garlic, crosses, and wolfsbane. What do you make of that, little buddy? Oh, that's a fun Jesus little Pesto? Uh -uh. He's a we vampire hunter. Somebody's trying to ward off vampires. <sighs> Don't say me thinks, Sameth. Me thinks somebody's trying to ward off vampires. Uh -huh. That steamer trunk looks exactly like ours. And I thought we were on the cutting edge of steamer trunk chic. Doesn't appear to be locked. Well, no, visitors. How kind of you to drop in on my humble home away from home, yeah? Hello. So sorry you could not stay for the aperitifs. If you'll excuse me. What? Nobody home. Hello, Flicker. Huh. Our compartment didn't come with a weird occult shrine in the closet. Ah. This must be the deluxe suite. Um. That cephalopod has a familiar face. It's the guy from the tomb! Looks like he's lost weight. Uh. I can't do shit in here, might as well not bother. Nah. Hope we're interrupting something. Not at all! I was just leaving. I won't rest till you give me the... You know what. Goodbye, Jürgen. Whatever. Oh, hey, y'all are familiar. Ahem. <clears throat> Hello. Hi there. Ain't you adorable. Seen the Devil's Toy Box lately? What do I care about toy boxes? I've got more important things to think about. Which is what? I hope you're not still sore at us for stealing your boyfriend. Huh? Oh, you mean that silly ventriloquist dummy? Hmm. I don't care about him anymore. He was just a childish fancy. I'm totally a woman now. You are okay. not! I've got a new boyfriend now. <laughs> new boyfriend? That wouldn't happen to be... You know how my dad is? He mustn't know about our engagement. Engagement? You mean... Oh, he hasn't asked me yet. But I can see it in his eyes. Oh, okay. What attracts you to a guy like that anyway? His tragic aura. There's about something the aura. haunted about him. Like he's laboring under some kind of terrible curse. Twittishness? 
Just out of curiosity, what was your dad whispering about with that overripe European? His name is Jurgen. I'm not supposed to know what he wants from my dad, but, well, come on. <laughs> Duh. Poor sweet thing. He tried so hard to avoid making eye contact with me. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. America. Excited about moving to America, eh? You bet! In the new world, a girl can grow up to be anything she wants to be. A seamstress, a nurse, a kindergarten teacher, wow. even a stenographer. Wow. Goodbye. Hope it works out for you, kid. <sighs> Mrs. Jurgen. This kid rules. Um I'll just talk to you. Hey, remember us? Of course! You're the wise guys who made off with the devil's toy box, the treasure we moles have been guarding for almost 6,000 years. You're not mad at us for raiding your tomb? Heck no! Losing that toy box was the best thing that ever happened to us mole people. After 6,000 years, we can finally say goodbye to burial chambers and hello to Broadway! That's a spirit. America! I can hardly wait! Yay! That's great. What was that fellow with a fruity accent doing in here? Private business. Let's just say he wants something that only I can give him. Oh, Dad. <laughs> you don't have to be so secretive. After all we've been through together in real two, I feel I can speak freely. Yes? I'm sorry to report that your daughter is harboring a massive crush. On whom? On that Jorgen guy. Ha! Ah, tell me another! After all we've been through together. Yes? I'm sorry to report. On whom? On my little buddy's ventriloquist dummy. Oh dear. That doesn't sound healthy. No, oh well. She'll either outgrow it or become a lonely, twisted old spinster with a toy fixation. Either way, I don't have to worry. Okay. Do you know where you're going when we reach America? To join my wife, Natasha. We sent her ahead to get established. I hear oh. she's managed to score us a sweet boiler room on the west side. Oh, she was right. Oh, funny thing, that toy chest we swiped from you? Somebody swiped it from us. Well, easy come, easy go. <laughs> <laughs> Can we inspect your trunk? No. Keep riding the rails, Mr. Molman. Okay. We suspect you're hiding stolen goods in here. What goods? The Devil's Toy Box. Therefore, we must invoke our spurious authority and look inside. I've read my railway regulations manual. You're not allowed to inspect the trunk without just cause. We suspect... a fortune in jewels. You're not allowed to inspect the trunk with... Right. We suspect... Kidnap children. You're not allowed to... Alright. What's in the closet? It don't matter. Uh, I want to be. Oh. Yes. Hiding a toy box in your compartment, are you? About yay big, 6,000 years old? Maybe. No. The mole girl from next door thinks you're all that. She is totally hot for you. Please, as if I am not already cursed enough. What's your curse? What's with the garlic crosses and wolf's bane? They are merely for decoration, okay? <laughs> I find them very soothing. If you are implying that I have these things because I'm afraid of being beaten by a vampire because I am under a curse or some such silly nonsense like that, then I have nothing for you but mocking laughter. <laughs> You and the Mole Man next door seem to have some sort of mysterious connection. I don't know. If it were up to me, I would have no connection with these Mole Men and their pesky curses. But I am not completely free yet. Oh, so I'm guessing he cursed you. I couldn't help but notice the nightmare-inducing shrine in your closet. What? You have profaned the idol of... I mean, 
that all curiosity? <laughs> Merely a conversation piece I picked up on my travels. Oh, okay. Who are you really, and what are you doing on this train? I told you, I am but a humble student of the antiquities. Oh, yeah? This train isn't an antiquity. It will be someday. Somebody was asking for you in another car. Yeah, who? I guess we can do that for the vampire. One of the elves in the last car. Don't know him. Somebody was asking for you in another car. Yeah. Mr. Kringle, next car over. Don't know him. Somebody was asking for. Yeah. Baby Amelia Earhart in the last car. Never heard of her. Somebody. One of the. Don't know. Okay. You're watching. <laughs> yeah, like I care. So, can I ask about the curse now? I don't know why I'm still using this when I know it's WASD. Can I ask about curse? Oh, we're at the hour mark. Fuck Hope my we're life. interrupting something. Yes. Hey, remember? Okay, that's nothing. Um. Hi there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, hey, hello. Maybe the toy box is stashed behind all this luggage. Possibly. Let's start unloading. Any goodies? Nope, not there. What's that? Goodie? Hello. It's our old pal, Spot. Hi, Spot. How's the boy? Whoa. Cranky. Um. Uh -uh. Want a cookie? Okay. Want a cup? No point in that. Okay. Um. I'm gonna call it now. Let me go just a tiny bit longer. Uh. Okay, we can make our voice go somewhere else. It's just Max's voice is a problem. Now let's go back to this one, so we can stop the fucking thing at least. Should we go back to the earlier reel or skip ahead to the next one? Go back to this one, so at least we can solve that part. Open this trunk! Open it, it, it. Keep your Yo mouth shut. Keep your Yo mouth shut. Keep your Yo mouth Yo shut. Don't say a word. Yo Open up, I say. We gotta hide. Uh. That'd never hide us. Um. Out there's where I don't want to end up. I'm coming in. A little privacy, please. Can't you see he's not decent? We run a clean train here, understand? Now, you have tickets or don't you? Out! Should we try another reel? Hmm. Thinking. Thinking. I don't know what the fuck I would use those powers for is the problem. Who among you? Is he insulting our si Where are we going, Samoth? Little Arctic. Okay. There 
Still at it. Got anything? Got change for a dime? What? Oh, okay. I need to remember to actually use this fucking. Hey, slushy! <laughs> Get the dog. You toy stores. You got anything new? We've got. Lay no, okay. As you got it. All right. Right, right, right. Not the boy. I, I wish he quit. What can I do for you? Nothing. Keep damn it. And all we got is that, so we can't do fucking anything here yet. Want to skip ahead to the good part? Got to be something with this. We don't got the can of nuts yet, so we can't do anything in Big Trouble World. Train to Egypt, we can't do anything to hide this problem. Oh, wait, 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 yes I can. Hold on, hold on. Somebody on this train has our toy box, and we're gonna get it back. Should we go back to the earlier reel or skip ahead to the next? We have the can of nuts, we can hide somewhere in here, right? Right, 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 right. Okay, uh... Uh... Is that good enough? I'm coming in! Huh. Could've swore there was somebody gabbing in here. Huh. Nobody here. Reckon I were wrong. That was a close call. Lucky for us, we played that tour in Gutter Demeron. We sure put one over on that sap of a conductor, didn't we, partners? Partners? For the last time, kid, you're not joining our outfit. Nonsense! This is just the beginning. We've got an endless series of marvelous adventures ahead of us. Uh-huh. Oh! We in Egypt? Egypt? Ta-da! Okay. That skipped no a lot more than I thought. You'll find it's not so easy to impress these Egyptian types with your magic act, little buddy. These jokers ingest sorcery with their mother's milk. Okay, Speaking of which, it looks going. like we finally managed to lose that pesky baby Amelia Earhart. By George, you're right. That was a clever move, pointing her at that mirage and telling her it was an oasis. Oh, <laughs> little kids are so trusting. Now, let's get down to the business at hand. We've got to find the Devil's Toy Box before it's scooped up by some disreputable Tomb Raiders. More disreputable than us, you mean? Look for a hidden passageway leading to an endless labyrinth. No doubt we'll encounter a dizzying array of fiendish death traps, but if we well, keep we're gonna our get wits thrown about onto a wall at some point. About time. We're not leaving till we get that toy box. Okay. Anyone for calamari? On the other side. Okay. Um, that's all I can do is just approach it. Stop quaking with girlish timidity, Maximus. It isn't that. It's my psychic aura. It's acting up again, Samoth. Something within that toy box is calling out to me. All smiles. Yay! Don't panic, little buddy. It could be a fake. My toy. Well, well. What have we here? Tomb Raiders? Oh, Hello. my. We haven't had a good raiding in nigh under 50 years. Hi, Grandpa. Now just sit tight for a minute. I'm afraid you caught us with our trousers down, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, haven't bothered to reset the security system in, oh, I don't know how long. Uh, now then. Protection spell looks to be in order. Hmm? You are going to be asking a lot if you want me to memorize that exactly. There. 
That ought to do the trick. Nothing beats a good old-fashioned protection spell. <laughs> now don't touch that toy box. If you value your hide. Okay, Grandpa. Guess we'll take the dummy. There goes my aura again. I must have that dummy. My dummy. Was that a... Yes, little buddy. It looks like you got your asp. And it's a big asp, too. A dummy. Wait. Where'd I go? Over here? <laughs> oh, I don't like movement. Moving in this sucks. Um... Yeah, I can't, I can't do shit here. Um, okay, oh, movement sucks, movement sucks. Okay, I can go over here. Can't open the door. Hello. Okay. Jesus Christ. Hello. You're on the train later. My toys. Hi, Grandpa. Come on, cutie. He come to Grandpa. Why, you sly old rascal. Hi, Grandpa. Whoa, stay back, fellas. I was talking to her. Hello, boys. Oh, Bouncing God. boomerangs at a barbecue. She's back. Never underestimate an independent woman. <laughs> Ain't she a caution? Just like my granddaughter used to be not so long ago. Eh. Yes. Come on. Come to Grandpa. Grandpa's got toys. I like toys. You keep your distance. No tomb raiders allowed in the burial chamber. Chamber. Tourist brochures, eh? Planning a little vacation? Yep. Benny and the kid think I could do a little airing out. Been in this tomb so long, I'm starting to grow mold. <laughs> Poor thing. Problem is, there's just so many darn places to visit. Say, where are you boys from? The U.S. of A. Eh, never heard of it. New country, is it? Picked a vacation spot yet? No, darn it, I just can't decide. Where'd you boys say you were from again? You're citizens of the world. Oh, I wouldn't go there. Too big. Darn. Picked up. Beyond time and space. Eh? Oh, mm, 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 that's nice. Okay, I guess you don't care. How about you let us come in, and we'll toss the baby over to you? No, sir. Baby's gotta come to Grandpa all on her own, sir. And then Grandpa will tell her the stories and pinch her little fat cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Lord help us. Extras. Say, Gramps, you know that spell of protection you put on the devil's toy box? We just cracked it. Yep, we nabbed the treasure and we're on our way. Just stopped in to say goodbye. Oh, nice try, you fellas. That security spell is pretty near foolproof, I reckon. I cast it many times, and it ain't failed me yet. Uh-huh. Going over the time, but I kind of don't care. Nice blocks. Hieroglyphic blocks. Used them to teach my little Nefertiti how to spell way back in the day. Come on, princess. Gramps has some blocks for you to play with. Can I have a... You're a little old to be playing with blocks, ain't you? Ah, well. Stay vague. Eh? Look, Salmon. Hieroglyphic blocks! The time-honored method of introducing children to the joy of cultic incantations. Wow. Hey, Gramps, who's in the sarcophagus? Well, let's see if you can get. You're in the tomb of Salmon Mac. Wait, wait, don't help us! Hey, Gramps, who's... Wait, wait, don't help us! Hey, baby Amelia Earhart. That nice and only vaguely creepy old man over there wants to play with you. Yes, I know. And you want me to toddle over on my adorable little footsie, so he'll bounce me on his knee and pinch my fat little cheeks and tell me suffocatingly dull stories about bunny rabbits. Also, you can sneak in behind his back and make off with his jewel-encrusted scarab collection or something. I wasn't born yesterday, you know. 
My, you are a clever little imp. Too clever for you, I'm afraid. I've no intention of being a pawn in your game, whatever it is, and I think I have a pretty good idea. Besides, I detest being slobbered over by geriatrics. I find it highly demeaning. I'm a liberated baby, you know. To hell with that Gucci goo nonsense. This is the 20th century! You talk so damn much. Come on, baby Amelia Earhart. Go see Grandpa. Not in a million years. What you doing in there, baby Amelia Earhart? Studying the graves of the ancient tomb guardians. I'm on the verge of a major discovery. If my hunch is correct, this place was once home to a race of mole men. I think you could tell just by looking to Grandpa. We were uh, terribly distraught to lose you back there in the desert. Yes, I could see that at the time, from the way your shoulders were shaking with grief as you ran away. Or was it laughter? Anyway, fortunately for me, a caravan happened to be passing through the area. Bandits. They saw me there and picked me up. I don't speak much Arabic, but I did manage to gather something about my fetching an attractive price at the Slave Bazaar in Marrakesh. That would have been the end of the story, I suppose, if their chief hadn't carelessly left his scimitar within reach and if I weren't such an expert swordsman. Swordswoman. Yes, well, don't wander off again. Next time, something serious could happen! Death to baby. Be a good girl. Woman. Good woman. Um. Oh. Hello. Oh, I don't got the dummy yet. Um. What in the fuck? Huh? It's hey, I didn't warn you. Ah, <laughs> oh, so that's what that is. I don't think that's the way the story is supposed to end. Let's back it up and try it again. Um, I guess we'll go look at the fucking incantation shit. Hello. See, I mean, this one is this one's grabbing my attention a lot more than the first episode. Maybe I was too harsh on it earlier. Psst. Huh? What? Over here. You are wanting the devil's toy box, yeah? I can help you, but you must help me first. Who? Who did this to you? The moles. They are completely verrucked. Especially the old one. At first he played the kindly grandfather, but then without warning he turned on me like the vicious wild beast and cursed me with bad luck. I tried to flee, but the way out was blocked by a nasty mole woman with a cheesy accent. She threw another curse at me. In my confusion, Damn, I plundered into a tripwire right. and poof! Curse number three! And here I am. Poor thing. How do European gent like yourself wind up on a two-dimensional surface like this? I am but a poor student of the antiquities. Yeah, I yeah, came yeah. to Egypt in order to make sketches of the tomb decorations. Little did I expect I would become a tomb decoration myself. I wonder if this awoke in something in someone. What's your problem? Bad accent? No, I have been confined on this accursed wall for decades. You must free me. Bitter? What do we need to do to get you down from there? Do you see the bust of Samun Mark? There's a secret clasp underneath it. Release the clasp yeah, like and I am released from the wall, your grateful servant. How do we get to the bust? That is the good question. You know how to break the spell of protection over the toy box? Naturally. During my long confinement here, I have had much opportunity to study the mole magic. Then why can't you undo your own curse? Alas, I have the limited mobility up here. Darn. You undo my spell, I'll help undo yours. Well, we already know what you're gonna do to me, so... Hang tight. I'm good at that. Um, okay. I, 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 I can't go up there. Okay. Uh... Fucking... Have I learned... Oh. I learn anything. I mean, I'm gonna guess we use that and it gets an early bad end. That security spell is what's keeping us from nabbing the devil's toy box. That's the idea, Sonny. Did I cast that protection spell or didn't I? Hmm, can't remember. Well, no harm in giving it another shot.
What? Use what? Use what? Use what? Use Guardian? This big ugly guy seems to be very taken with the little gold guy. Maybe to an unhealthy degree. Alright, so what bad end do we get by messing with this? I think it's safe to touch it now. Ah, fudge. I was hoping these two would put up some kind of challenge. Okay. I don't think that's the way the story is supposed to end. Let's back it up and try it again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. having too much fun. I just want to keep going and going and going. Um... And that shit don't help me in this case. Oh god, what is the fucking movement here? Okay. Oh god, I hate this movement system. We're not leaving till we get that toy box. I don't think I can do shit, dude. All right. Hi. That one we can't do until we got through the gate. That one we can't do at all. I mean... Maybe if we talk to the mole woman, maybe we'll get something new. Okay, we're back here again. What can I do for you? Oh, hello. What do you know about a protection spell? Oh, very powerful mole magic, wielded only by ancient and venerable mole mages. My father-in-law, for instance. Okay. What do you know about a- Oh. Keep on cursing. Alright. That does nothing for me. We don't have any toy ideas. Wanna skip ahead to the good part? Hold on, there's a bug. There's a bug. There's a bug. I'm distracted by a bug. I've lost the bug. I might have just fucked up the recording. Eh, recording's probably fine. Um... This one? Wait a minute. Why did that reset? I, I've got something for you, Yurikin. Oh. At last, give me the letter. I bared my soul in it. <laughs> oh, oh I am so on. touched to the core of my being. Let me put it among my keepsakes. Uh, let's just talk to you in general. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get right to the. Hey, remember? Oh, okay. What happened to the other guy who was with you in the tomb? The um. Moldy, oldie, mold man. Pop finally decided to take his vacation. Where'd he go? Where's he going? To see the Sphinx. Okay, well that answers that one. Hi there. <sighs> Okay. Then if I talk to you. Yes. Yeah. Right, I don't think I have any reason to go. Okay. Not now, dummy. Oh my god, this is so much shit. Should we go back to the earlier reel or skip ahead to the next? I feel like we're making a lot of progress, at least. There my must be a way to undo that protection spell so we can get our hands on the Devil's Toy Box. Right, Should right, we right. call the helpline? Tomb Raiders don't call helplines, little buddy. Okay, we know where you're going on your vacation, so we can at least do that. Alright, alright. You keep it. Alright, alright. Say, Gramps. What? Alright, travel brochures. Picked a vacation spot yet? 
no. What? The U.S. Mm. What? Stay vague. Me? Eh? Picked a vacation? No. We're citizens. What? Stay vague. Me? Eh? What? Be a good. What? It gives me nothing. You have not forgotten. I never. F uh -huh. oh. Wait. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh. Um. I want my toys. I want my toys. Give me my toy. Give me my toy. Give me my toy. Give me my toy. Hold on, I gotta read. Camera angles, keep my shit up. I want my toy. I want my toy. I want my toy. Two doorways. Out! Two doorways! I just said that. The doorway of life and the doorway of death. Choose a right. And you will pass through to the Chamber of Delight, wherein our greatest treasure resides. Choose right. Choose a wrong. A wrong? And a mighty scimitar will strike from above and slice you cleanly in half. <laughs> Proceed, if you dare. Choose a right. Choose a right. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Grr. You were supposed to go through the other door. Oh, okay. The other door is the one with the scimitar. You won't be so lucky next time. I'm going to recalibrate the mechanism. You'll have to pass this point again on your way out, and then watch out. That's all. You're not allowed to look. I guess it's only fair to give him a second chance. Well, I guess we just go on the right side again. There we see the body of Salmon Mock. Born to the tomb by the Mole Guardians. They oh, say people. it was the costliest burial of all time. Now that's what I love about this country. You guys know how to throw a classy funeral. So true. Summon Mock the Great. At the zenith of his power. Oh, reading this backwards. Gee, I want to be a god king. Summon Mock discovers the Devil's Toy Box. The moment that changed the course of history. He looks so happy. Young Salmon Mock started life as a humble frog catcher, but fate intervened. Oh. Hold it right there, buckos! Can't you read hieroglyphics? It's a turn and a leaf. Exactly. Turn and leaf. The two of us want to be alone. We happen to be sharing a super intimate moment. Wow. Marquis lover boy. Lover boy? It's the dummy! His name is Charlie Hotep. Uh. Now, are you gonna keep away or do I have to shit spot on you? What? We can't just leave. We went through so much to get here. The doorways of life and death, you mean? Right. Dad built that. It's like the post to discourage shooters. As if I need him always watching over me. God, so embarrassing. Your father said something about finding his greatest treasure in here. Yeah, so you found her. But don't start getting any ideas. I've already found my dream boy. I'm truly happy for all of us. But so what happens if we decide to just saunter right in? Do you want me to set my ass on you? No, no! Oh, please, God, anything but that! Listen, kid, I know your feelings for Charlie Hotep are very, well... Dysfunctional? But I'm going to have to insist you turn him over to my pal here. Charlie and me are soulmates! Right, as if... I want the dummy, give me the dummy, Charlie I want the dummy. Charlie and I have a perfect understanding. Just try and come between us, and I'll put a curse on you that'll curl your toes. 
Tell me about your curses. Some people would say it isn't very becoming for a young lady to curse. Yeah, right. Cursing is only like a completely major part of mole culture. Of course, of course. Tell me more. I suppose your dad does a curse too? Ha! <laughs> you don't even want to know. He's got like the most devastating curse in the whole world. The sexo rejecto hex. Hmm. Can you tell us about it without getting us an M rating? How'd you like it if the very sound of your voice repulsed the opposite sex? <laughs> Can you imagine? Poor thing. What's your curse, little girl? The whole scene hex. But I'm not very good at it yet. <laughs> okay. Stay sullen, kid. Shut up! Come on, Charlie. Make a break for it. That's it! You violated my inner sanctum! Ew. Go get him, Spot. I don't know what I expected. A can of nuts for our tea party? You're the best little snake in the whole world. Well, Charlie, you finally got me alone. Now's your chance to murmur those three little words. <laughs> We're out of here. Huh? You, you. See how you like Nefertiti's curse! Wait a minute, how does it go? Oh yeah! Cow? Maximus! Aw oh, man. Huh? Say something, little buddy. Moo. Whew. He's all right. Practice makes perfect, kid. I'm sure you'll improve. Oh, I hate you! You ruined my whole life! Eh, she'll get over it. Charlie, you and I are going to make beautiful music together. Now Oh Let me show you how this two doorways gizmo works. Huh? No, that wasn't me. By the way, Nefertiti, you were adopted. Oh, thank God! Huh? No, that wasn't me. Nefertiti, you're grounded for life! I've been grounded for life my whole life! Huh? No, that wasn't me! Oh, wait. What do I use it on you? Bye, Dad! I'm off to Paris to become a courtesan! You are not! What? I ain't say anything! I can't hold it inside any longer! I love you, Samoth and Maximus! I wanna be your mole! I wanna have your puppies! There! I've said it! Never Titty! I didn't... If I hadn't just heard it with my own ears, I'd have never believed it! But it wasn't... I've got no choice but to blast you fellows with the sexo rejexo hex! Brace yourselves! Until the curse wears off, the very sound of your voice will repulse the opposite sex. Whee! Say, buddy. Yes? Oh, okay. I guess we're fine. Well... Love to stay in chat, but we got a tomb to raid. 
Oh wait. Hi there. So where would I want to use this? Oh wait! Um, do I want to use... Uh, do I want to use this on... Oh god. Being fucked over by movement. Baby? I might be way too late by the time I get there. Baby? Baby? Close, but not too close. You keep, baby. Wanna go on a ride? Oh, so now you want to be friends, do you? Well, buzz off, boys. I'm busy. Oh, that. Okay. Um. Astro Wait. What happens if we d use it? As we use it on you. Don't play. What can I do for you, my good buddy? Keep. Oh. Want to skip ahead to the good part? Sure how much longer I'm gonna keep going. Somebody on this train has our toy box, and we're gonna get it back. Oh, pardon me. Those beans from the, the dining car just at? caught up with me. My name is Samet, by the way. Oh, whoops, there he goes again. Quit it, Maximus. That's a fucked up mouth model. I don't think I can do anything. I go in here. Why you got a hat on? Tell him the secret, Dad. Nefertiti. No. What? I ain't see anything. I'm a prisoner in here! Got someone in the trunk, eh? I'm afraid railway regulation number oh? 268 leaves us no choice but to inspect it. You're not the train conductors! We're the untrained conductors! Oh, well, go ahead then! What's in it? Clothes, blankets, pots and pans, magical bric-a-brac, no toy chest in here. I guess you're cleared. Why would we steal the toy chest back? It was hard enough to get rid of it. What is this? You think this is significant? It's selectable, isn't it? What is That's it? That's just one of our magic spells. Pay it no mind. Only mole people can do mole magic. And that particular spell is only useful to those who are under the dread vampire curse. Uh-huh. Hello. Nefertiti, you're grounded for life! I've been grounded for life my whole life! Alright. I got nothing. Uh. Right, right, right. I I'm taking off for a while. Yeah. Where do you think you're going, little girl? Oh, I oh. thought I'd smoke some drugs and get pregnant. That's all. Now be smart with me, Nefertiti. We're not in America yet. Oh, Dad! Now, you be careful out there, you oh. hear? Don't talk to anybody. Whatever. Oh. Uh, I didn't know anyone was out here. Back so soon? Hold on. I got an idea. I know. I realize what we're supposed to do now. I I'm taking off for a while. I see ya. Where do you think you're going? Let's Gotta be this one again, right? Right. 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 
Yes. Spell, spell, spell. Like oh, this. it's just you. Yes. Just me. All alone. You've got me where you want me. I can solve this. Give me control. There's only one thing I want. You know what that is? Uh, um. Poor little dear. She's completely uh, tongue tied. Um, you need to out. put the words yeah, 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 in yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I know what to do. Um, I know what to do. Uh, um, I know what to do. Um, I know what to do. Uh, I know what to do. No, no, no. Uh, 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 the vampire reverse curse? Tell me, where can I find it? Uh, um, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> um, well, uh, <laughs> um, <coughs> it's in our steamer trunk. I knew it. Jurgen? <laughs> oh, no, I'm a bad person. It's not there! Drex Lugna! What a sweet pet name! <laughs> Why not? Wait. I I'm taking off for a while! Uh, I'm here! Where do you think you're going, little girl? Okay, I guess I gotta... Oh, it's so I can get him to go away for a bit. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe? Maybe? My brain is huge? My brain is huge, right? Yeah. My brain is huge. Any brain. My brain is huge. You're back. Like the plague. Oh, Jurgen. How poetic you are. Yeah, yeah. Are you here to give me what I want? Uh, um... Oh my, my, my. <laughs> She's completely tongue tied. Uh, if only we could put the words in well, her mouth. Uh, <laughs> uh, um... Okay, okay. <laughs> cut, cut, um... <laughs> um... Uh... The vampire reverse curse? Tell me, where can I find it? Uh, <laughs> um... <laughs> the sarcophagus in the next car! Oh, I am safe from the fate worse than death. I am so happy I could kiss you. But I won't. Jurgen? <laughs> okay, now do I just go in there? Go in there? Game saved. Sarcophagus. Nobody home. Sarcophagus. Wait, no, steamer. Steamer. Now to get a good look inside this trunk. Not so fast, Legion. Ah, damn it. If only we could keep him out of that room. If you'll excuse me. Wait. Oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. No, 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 I'm, I'm misinterpreting this. He's gonna be trying to use it, right? Okay, 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 okay. Right? No, no, no. Oh. I confess it! I took the toy chest! Is that supposed to be me? Ugh, such an embarrassingly poor imitation. Can't. Aww. I'm burning through time, baby. Ba 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 ba. Let me talk. Ba, 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 ba. What's up, dog? Wait, right. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, uh. Plushy? I confess it! I took the toy chest! <laughs> what? Uh, that didn't come from me! Ah, damn it, that does nothing for me. 
really can't wait. I'd like to inspect your trunks. I bet you would, creep. That didn't come out right. Okay. My brain. Not doing it. What's up? Wait. Yeah. You again, eh? Come on in. Okay, talking to you ain't gonna help. I'd love to play test your toy. Uh, who? I confess it. What are you trying? I confess it. I can't wait for. Ah, oh, me. Why am I, baby? Okay. Should we go back to the earlier reel or skip ahead to the next one? Me too. Dolphin puzzle. Bit by bit. I haven't had to use the guide yet. Okay, so. There must be a way to undo that protection spell so we can get our hands on the devil's toy box. Wait a minute, is it. It's not. This isn't gonna be the joke, is it? Psst. Huh? Over here! You have on. Alright. Do this. I'm free! I'm free! Oh, glorious third okay. dimension! Oh, blessed relief! <laughs> I'm free! Hello. And you're not. So sorry. Got to run. <laughs> Wait. You said you'd help us land the devil's toy box. Do not be silly. What would a couple of bar reliefs want with a toy box? Just Infidels! Hello. Vipers, you have removed the sacred bust of Samon Mac. For your sins, you must remain Are you on the this wall. Okay, fair enough. Uh, for how long? For eternity! <laughs> 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 I don't get it. Okay, for reals, there's got to be some way around this stuck on the wall for eternity, who, huh? Well... Shh. Yeah? Come on. Well, we have to let you off if you can answer the riddle of this fox. Which no one ever has. Okay. Let's hear the riddle. <sighs> All right. You who raid the Pharaoh's tomb... Much deserving of your doom. If you want to save your hide, tell us what the gods deride. Hmm. What the gods deride? Hmm. I don't know what deride means. I mean, I guess this one. To cut the cucumber lengthwise? <laughs> 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 Boy, that's a good one! <laughs> it never gets old, does it? Hey! We're free! And we've still got the bust of Salmon Mac. Um... What do I do with it? It's a bust. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. Um... Okay. What? Back again? Didn't you learn your lesson the first time? Let's hear the. R <laughs> we'll keep thinking. You, you do, do that. that. What? I had a feel. Let's hear the. R <sighs> All right. To cut the. Am I supposed to use that for something? Maybe not. Um. 
Wait, was this always here? Wait. What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh. Fast travel. Oh no, not really. Shortcut. Um. You keep it. Say, Gramps, why can it? Okay. I understand you mole people have a talent for throwing curses. Yeah, here we go. Curses, curses, that's all anybody remembers about us mole people. We're good at dancing, too. I want to see you dance. Nobody wants to hear about that. Yeah, forgive the outburst, Sonny. What was it you wanted to know? Do a dance. Uh, what's your curse? I hear around the neighborhood you're a pretty mean cursor yourself. What's your curse? Me? Sure, I've got a curse. The bad luck whammy. But I haven't used it in ages. <laughs> it's like whistling or taxidermy. You never really forget. Come on, hit us with your best shot. You? I wouldn't put a curse on a couple of nice fellas like you. I only curse people I hate. You wouldn't think getting cursed would be so difficult. I get cursed all the time. Come on, hit us with your best shot. You? I... Come on, hit Do us it with again your... and again and again. Now, I'll bet your darling granddaughter knows how to curse up a storm. <laughs> well, let's just say her Holstein hex might put you fellas in a bad mood. <laughs> Once she's got it down pat, that is. Right, right. Your son Benny just put the sexo rejexo hex on us. Oh, did he now? <laughs> You must have caught the eye of young Nefertiti, am I right? Well, I hope you're partial to long-distance love affairs, because that's all you're getting. For a while, anyway. About enough about curses. There's something else you want to know? Tell me your dances. I guess not. Stay vague. Eh? Oh, so not. Well... They say a fuck of these. Sam and Max are my best friends. We let them into the burial chamber. What? No, they aren't. Don't! Ah, I eat little children for breakfast. What? I didn't say that. Say hi to Grandpa. Well, well, oh. look who dropped in. Ain't you a lively little wiggler? That's a fine solution. Wait, Grandpa's That's got a, a fun story fucking for solution. You. Once upon a time, oh. in a far off kingdom, there was a family of adorable bunny rabbits. Now these little rabbits lived in a hole in the bottom of a fir tree. The graveyard of the moles. Hi, oh, Sam and Mac. Nice place you got here. Well, one day these bunnies come out from under the tree, and there was a big old wolf that bit the heads off. Cool. Little scamp got away. Come on back out, baby. Grandpa's got a lot more stories for you. Picked a vacation spot yet? No, darn it. I just can't decide. Where'd you boys say you were from again? We're citizens of the world. Oh, I wouldn't go there. Stay vague. Eh? Whoops. Mm, let you slip in, did I? Well, <laughs> I guess you can stay. Oh. Okay. The graveyard of the moles. Hiya, Samoon Mac. Guess we just go. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do with that. Hi, Guardian. Anyone for calamari?
These blocks are about the same size and shape as the movable glyphs on that marquee, but I can't reach it from here. Oh! Hi, Scorpion. Okay. can't make it there from here. What? But didn't you look? Listen, I know you're busy being tomb decorations, but would you mind letting us scooch past? We're trying to get to the other side so we can- Impudent jackals! Tomb guardians do not let people scooch past. Damn it. Listen, I know you're busy being tomb de- We're trying to get- Impudent jackals! Let's hear the rest. <sighs> All right. People who think meaning me. No. -uh. We'll keep thinking. You, you do, do that. that. No point in that. Psychic ventriloquist. Uh. The feeling. Let's hear the. <sighs> All right. To cut the. It's a cozy niche. Why oh, you only put it in there? Is that gonna change him? Do I have to split him somehow? can't make it there from here. It's a cozy niche. What? But didn't you look? Oh. I had a feel. Damn it. Let me cut to the point. Two. Right. Uh, do I need a second one of you? Oh wait, is this another? Oh! Two doorways. The doorway of life, passageway to paradise. The doorway of death, a swinging blade to slice you cleanly in half. But which is which? <laughs> which is which? Wait, isn't he gonna tell us? Wait a minute, no, 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 in half. Give me back my fucking thing. Give me that back. Give me that back. Give me that back. It's a cozy knee. Give me that back. Give me that back. I can take this. Two. Uh, okay. Fuck in. Hey! No littering in the tomb! Sorry, boss. in the tomb. Whee! Right, so if 
I leave and come back? So lucky. Can I put it. What? Want this? I'm not sure I want. Say, buddy. Yes. Oh, you got dialogue. Will you please tell your daughter to stop making indecent proposals to us? My daughter? You? It's flattering, of course, but a clear violation of workplace guidelines on sexual harassment. Stop saying that! You're like the grossest guys I've had the unfortunate displeasure to meet, ever! Looks like you need a booster shot of my sexo rejectso hex. Didn't do anything. We ran into this mole person back in New York. I don't know. Kerchief, obsessed with a can of nuts. Natasha! My darling little pudding snout. <laughs> Tell me, what was she up to? Cursing elves, mostly. Ah, still doing what she loves most. Answer me something, Pops. Why is it the moles back in New York speak in this funny dialect, and you talk just the same way we do? I I'm sorry, what did you say? I'm completely thrown by your accent. Uh. Is that the scimitar there, over the- Don't look! Don't look! The doors of life and death are supposed to be a surprise! Walk me through this sexo rejexo hex. Well, it's very simple. Until the curse wears off, the very sound of your voice will repulse the opposite sex. So it shouldn't affect our lifestyle at all, really. Your daughter keeps threatening to curse us. Well, she needs the practice. But I'm sure you fellows don't want to experience the Holstein hex. It's utterly devastating. Right, right. I wonder how long I keep going. I'm going extremely long. Any other curses we should be aware of? Pop's got a good one. The bad luck whammy. But he never gets riled enough to use it. Hey, buddy. You know anything about an elderly mole man with specs? Sure! That's my pop! He guards the burial chamber! Love to stay in ch oh. Say, bud. Yes? Can you convince the old guy to take down his protection spell and let us have the Devil's Toy Box? The Devil's Toy Box? My the toys. treasure we moles have been guarding for 6,000 years? Yeah. No. Darn. Love to stay in chat, but we got a tomb to raid. Oh. Hi there. Two doorways, Gizmo works. Huh? Psychic ventriloquism. Go ahead and take the gummy. I was through with it anyhow. What? I didn't see anything. Hey, Dad. How do you reverse the protection spell on the toy box? Well, first you... Nefertiti? Not in front of T-H-E-M! What? I ain't see anything! Damn. Bye, Dad! I'm off to Paris to become a courtesan! You are not! What? Alright. 
Yeah. That's why I play with my nuts. Nice trick! Two doorways. The doorway of life, passageway to paradise. Which is which? Woo -hoo 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 -wee! Guess we'll just die. Oh. <laughs> this shouldn't even matter. Smart enough. I'm gonna do that every time. Hey, no littering. Uh, just let me leave and come back and then die. You even have to use the doorway. Alright, I'll we'll die then. How lucky can you get? You won't be so lucky next time. I don't understand. Whee! Oh, I need the bad luck first. Fuck, I gotta piss off. I gotta piss off Grandpa. -pa. Say hi to Grandpa. Well, well, look who dropped what? in. Ain't you a lively what? little wiggler? I'm afraid I must be what? going. Wait, Grandpa's got a story for you. Once a there's no one here. What? Say, Gramp. Eh? Snuck. Eh? I didn't say that. I have a wife. Eh? Oh, mm -hmm. that's nice. I have awakened from the sleep of a thousand years. Eh? Oh, mm -hmm. that's nice. For my first trick, I'll need to procure a small personal item from a member of the audience. Quit it, Maximus. Come on in. Can I do anything new with you? No devil's toy box in there.
Funny how Rite of the Valkyries puts her right out. It would have been nice to know that back when it was useful. Funny how... It would have been... Alright. Say, baby Amelia Earhart. Uh-huh. Come on, baby. You go play. Uh -huh. You go. Um... Okay, so if I... If I stay here... I go back in time and I get cursed. Should we go back to the earlier reel or skip ahead to the next? And then I go back. That gonna work? And then I go back over here. There must be a way to undo that protection spell so we can get our hands and on I'm the devil's. here for the fast shortcut. Go here. Da, 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 doesn't matter. How you? Say, buddy. Yes. Puppy love. Cute, isn't? It? Yeah. But... Oh. What? Curse. Right. Well, just... oh. But if I go into the future. So gone. Astro Probably gonna stop once I hit 230, honestly. If I go here, do I still have the curse? Say, maybe. Uh huh. Be a good. Why am I, baby? It's fucking nothing. Man. Oh. I wonder if we do this right now, that's scary. Are you gonna start like babbling or some shit? No, you don't give a shit. Hiya, Sam and Mac. I can't make him talk. Oh, I can. I have awakened from the sleep of a thousand years. Ah, don't bite me. Don't bite me. I couldn't resist. I have awakened. Uh, I confess it. Is that? Oh. Pringle likes cookies. Who is it? Room service. For the love of Blitzen, it's about damn time. Yeah, hold on a minute. Yeah, you the cookies. Uh, oh, you want me to do this? Brings us inside, right? Cookies and nuts, but where's the milk? I distinctly ordered milk and cookies, you brainless boobies! How the hell am I supposed to eat cookies without milk? Damn it. Where the fuck do I get milk from? What? Do the cow. Hi there. He turned. Want to throw that cow curse at us again? For old time's sake? I bet you're really good at it now. Nah, I'm not mad at you anymore. Not since I found true love. So don't louse it up for me. Damn it. Oh, <sighs> Miss. Tell him the secret, Dad. Nefertiti? No! What? Oh, I'm... Gotcha. You're not... We're the... Oh. Some kind of vampire revert. 
I didn't say that. Nefertiti, you're grounded. Ivan! Tell him the secret, Dad. Nefertiti. What? Think this is significant? It's select. That's just one of our magic spells. Some kind of vampire reverse curse? I didn't say that. I don't like people. Re sort of letter. My dearest Jorgen, what is this itch that spreads across my dewy young mole skin whenever you are near? I don't know if I should read this. Read it. Read it! <laughs> whenever you are near, it is love, and only your long, pale fingers can scratch it. <laughs> Do you itch for me? I'll bet! But oh, I yeah, must I beg you to back. keep our love a secret for now. My ogre of a father would have a fit. He doesn't realize I'm no longer his little girl, and my grandfather has this crazy irrational hatred for people from Stuttgart. Interesting. Oh. Be patient, my prince. There's a place for us. A place where moles and Germans can block lips for eternity. I think I know what that place is called. Your love kitten, Nefertiti. I wonder why Grandpa Mole hates people from Stuttgart. Everyone hates people from Stuttgart. Okay. Now we're getting to the good part. Yeah, but is it a romance or horror? There's a difference. Can I give this to Dad and... As a responsible adult... <laughs> as a responsible adult... I feel it's my duty to give you this. Hey! Huh? My dearest Jurgen? Dewey young moleskin? Long pale fingers? Never Nefertiti! Dad! We're in love! You are not! I hope I am not interrupting any soon. Debaucher, cradle robber, despoiler of innocence! Hmm, perhaps this is a bad time. I curse you! You, you ruined my life again. Cow time. Cow time. You'll survive. Yes, survive this. Cow time. I need milk, little buddy. I need milk. The whole scene hex. I need milk. I don't like this any better than you do, little buddy. I need milk. Nature's miracle. All right, turn back to normal now. Keep working at it. All right. I can do Santa thing. Santa thing. Santa thing. Anything. Ringo likes milk. Anything. Who is it? Anything. Room service. Hold up. Oh, well, anything. 
Kind of thing. Cookies and milk, and they threw in a free can of nuts to make up for the inconvenience. Kind of You're bad for me, you naughty little snacks. <laughs> but you go down so good. What the hollyberries? Hello. Yay! He's out cold. It's empty. What? You mean I gave up my precious milk for nothing? Bad. Wait a minute. There's a note. The Brotherhood of Yang Sagat. Who could have written this? Who indeed? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I would. I've been double crossed! Arr. I'll damn you out! Oh, we got the cookies back. What now? Boo! Ah, don't bite me! Don't bite me! Oh, it's just you. Kind of a wuss, isn't he? Oh. Guess we talked to baby. I'm pushing my my ultimate limit soon. You again, eh? Come on in. I was just working on my memoirs. Tell me about the Brotherhood. Say, baby Amelia Earhart. Uh huh. Somebody went and stole up. You mean the toy box? Yeah, good girl. Bye bye, baby. What I meant to say was, I'm looking to lay my hands on a chest. Well, you ain't laying no hands on mine, weirdo. Ah. I never knew you had this thing for elves. You think you know someone? Uh huh. Yeah? Listen, toy chest, steamer trunk. Somebody stole it, and we're checking every compartment. You got my sympathy, Pally, but I can't let you in. Not till we're through with the secret project. What are you elves doing on this train? We go where Kringle goes. We're his retinue, like. Only he don't know nothing about our secret project. How many elves you got in there? At last count, 153. 0.5. 0.5? Gary, the third level paladin, is only half elf. Ah. Uh. Let me talk to Slushy. What's up, dog? Pringle wants to see you. Ah, oh, jeez, he does. Cover for me, fellas. I can't leave this compartment till the secret project's finished. Wait right there. I've got the perfect kid for you. Yeah? That's fantastic, pal. Send him over. You again, eh? Come on in. I was just working on my memoirs. Don't believe the mustache is real? Go on, give it a tug. Hardy har har. I confess it, I took the toy chest. What are you trying to pull? I confess it, what? I can't wait for up. Why am I, baby? I'm solving nothing. Oh, well, I guess we can just go piss off Grandpa then. Should we go back to the earlier reel or skip ahead to the next one? Each of me is either going to hate myself because of this or be fine. They're... I'm almost at 2.30. Pa, 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 pa. I need you to be uh, mad. Oh, 
Oh, so that's what the travel bush show. Pick a vacation? No. You wouldn't have heard of it. A little town called Stuttgart. Stuttgart? You mean to tell me I've been standing here talking to a couple of dang nab dead blasted Stuttgartarians? What's your language, Gramps? No cursing in the burial chamber. Oh, ho, ho. You ain't experienced cursing till you got a snoot full of my extra snoot spicy fun. bad luck whammy. Call it. Heads or tails? Tails. No heads. Hell, no tails. You lose. Okay. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-wee! Yeah, yeah, yeah. My toys. No, no, no. Hey! Don't throw things to the doorway Yay. of death! Do you want to dull the blades? My two toys. I'm solving so much. So, not little time. Uh, yeah, I don't even know if that was the right one. Ah, uh, wah, wah, wah. Go this way. This way. Where are you going? Go this way. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. That's a good crocodile head, you mutt. My curses. Yay! And we still haven't solved so much other shit. Excuse me. Yay! Hey, we're the meat based version of us again! Now, to scramble this security spell. Great. They're welded in place. We have blocks. We have blocks. It's a perfectly fine protection spell, but I think we can improve it. Now that's an inscription. What's all the commotion? <laughs> Did I forget to cast the protection spell? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Look! My toys. Oh, it's just okay. Sure. No moles in sight. Stone Guardian well, guys, otherwise occupied. Unbreakable spell of protection broken. Nothing standing between us and that toy box but air. Come on, little buddy. Let's go get it. What? I think this is where we came in. I'm experiencing a newfound sense of respect for our forebears, Samoth. I mean, Sam. I know how you feel, little buddy. Say what you will about our gene pool. It did manage to produce a couple of winners. You hear that? You guys are winners! If you factor out the squalid death in a dirty boiler room, um, okay. Uh, I think, oh, um, well, I'm gonna start this one, then we're gonna end it. I think it's more than enough progress. All right. The beautiful little, uh, oh god. Oh, say it. Uh, What do I say? Oh! Save game! Yay! I'm starving. This went long. That's fun. Goodbye.